Okay, looking at X-linked traits and colored blindness, which is directly related to the X chromosome. So this X-linked is basically uh, sex-linked in inheritance. The inheritance is determined by genes on the sex chromosomes. Females have two copies of the X chromosome, and the males have one copy of X and one copy of Y. The reason why this is important is the X chromosomes can contain about 2,500 genes, while the puny little Y chromosome only contains about 15. So X-linked genes are only found on the X chromosome and are typically passed from mothers to sons, never masked or dampered in males since there's no Y counterpart. So we can almost disregard the Y. So if you're a male, you have one X chromosome, meaning whatever genes you have on that are expressed and evident. The females have two Xs, meaning if there's a defect in one, they kind of like a backup copy, uh, where the males simply do not. And that's why males are more likely to be colorblind than females. So this excellent dominant and recessive trait. So males are XY, a single copy of the X chromosome. Females have two copies. Males only get an X chromosome from their mother. Females get an X chromosome from each parent, both mom and dad. It kind of shows it here. Here's our two X's on the female, our X and our Y from the male. So excellent dominant recessive. Males only get X chromosomes from their mother. It's the only place that they can get it because dad can, cannot give two X's to their daughters but their sons get one X from mom and the Y from their dad. Now, when we're looking at our chromosomes, we look down here. If it's an X and a Y, we know this is the map for a male. If this was two X's, we know this would be the map for a female. Females get the X chromosome from each parent. They're more likely to show excellent dominant disorders because they have essentially two copies. So inheritance of an excellent dominant mutation from an infected mother a woman with an X-linked dominant disorder has 50% chance of having an affected daughter or son with each pregnancy. And that shows here we have our affected is the white. Again, the male only has one X in the puny little Y. Sons will get that one X from mom, and they're only X from mom, uh, where daughters will get an X from mom and an X from uh, dad. So as a result, the odds are, in this case here, the affected son and daughters have a 50% chance of having that affected gene. Now for excellent dominant, with the affected father being the case, sons will always be safe because in this case they have to get their ex from mom and mom is unaffected. The daughters, however, they will all be basically affected by this because they have to get one of those exes from dad. In this case, it's a dominant X link. They will all express that trait. So that's the good and the bad about excellent dominant recessive disorders. Uh, another example here, just put it into some colors. Uh, same basic pattern as before. I want you just to take a look at these. You can pause the video to see if you can kind of trace and see how this uh, plays out. Remembering that females get an X from mom and dad. Males have to get their X from mom. And this again shows an X uh, dominant affected mother here, in this case represented by red. And just see how that kind of traces out. Excellent recessive carrier mother. Remember, carrier will only have um, half, and how that affects both sons and daughters. Um, sons could be unaffected or sons could be affected. There's no middle ground. In this case, females could be unaffected or a carrier in this case. So that's it to colorblind, the fun part here. So, what is colorblindness? So, just the, the basics. It's an admirable condition characterized by the inability to clearly distinguish different colors from the spectrum, the Roy G. Biv spectrum. Difficulties can be mild to severe due to cones located on the retinas. From the back of your eye, you have these photoreceptors. They're, ret on the, they're called cones. They're receptive to color. Rods are see more in just black and white. And this is an X chromosome link trait. Now we're going to focus on humans, uh, but dogs don't have the same cones that we do. So not to disappoint you, but if Fido there, you have his favorite red toy, his little um, um, fire engine or something that's red and you're showing him the red color, he can't see the red. Uh, he's going to see it as this kind of grayish, off yellowish color. He'll recognize the shape for you as, a, as the red um, fire hydrant, but he's not going to see the red color. So if you're looking to buy um, dog toys, you want to stick with the blues or the yellows because that's what they can see. Green, not so much. Purples, also not so great. And reds are pretty poor, just based on the cones that they have in their eyes. 
So in here to colorblindness, again, we're looking at X length. So um, carriers in this case will always uh, be female. We've got the circles. Males will either be unaffected or colorblind because they only have one um, X chromosome. So colorblindness, how would this look worldwide? Uh, affects about one in 12 men or one in 200 women. And in total, about 4.5% of the world population is colorblind, with most being male. This is kind of interesting. This kind of gives you an idea of the American flag. And here's one, uh, two, three, four, and five, and how people with different, um, missing different colors would look at the American flag. Now, if you are colorblind yourself, it's not going to be able to appreciate the differences uh, presented here in some of the tests. So this would be perfect colorblind test. Now, this by no means is a medical way of diagnosing what, uh, what color blindness you may or may not have, but you can look at these and you should see potentially some numbers in these. Some might be easier to tell than others. Uh, you're welcome to go through and take a look at them all and see what you see. Uh, I am going to reveal the answers, so if you want to take a pause, this would be the time to pause it. Okay, for those looking for the answers, here we go. Uh, I noticed the ones on the bottom here were squiggling lines. This is kind of a mess of squiggling lines. Uh, some people have an easier time seeing some than the others. I'll flip back for a second. Uh, some people say that the 12 is really easy to see up here. Others uh, the 42. Some consider this a 71, or is it a 74? It's a 74. Um, so you can just get an idea here of the answers. For those playing along too at home, this is another example here. I'll tell you right now, if you're seeing numbers, you're not in good shape. Uh, you should be seeing shapes in this one, particularly animal shapes. And if you'd like to, you can pause the video now before I reveal the answers. So if you're looking to compare the two, this is what you should see. Kind of a bear in this region. I have a elk with kind of a, maybe a male in the foreground, a female in the background. A fox in this region. Uh, kind of a squirrel and a rabbit over here. Just to give you an idea of what you potentially should be seeing in that image. So colorblindness, it's a condition that affects men more than women. It's a heritage, genetic trait higher in Caucasian males than any other group. Uh, a great video here explaining and showing a little bit more. We found right here for some descriptions, uh, just to give you an idea of, you know, what causes colorblindness. And does your red look the same as what I interpret as red? Or does your green look the same? Uh, green is most often the color most people have trouble with. And just to end here, colors of the rainbow, give an idea of, try to give you um, some examples of some different types of colorblindness. Remember, colorblindness doesn't mean you just can't see um, all the colors. There's different types of colorblindness. And depending on what how defective your cones may be or what mutations may have occurred affects the amount of colors that you may be able to see and how your cones in the back of your eye and your retina interpret the colors. And keep in mind, uh, your dog there, even in the best of vision, he's not technically colorblind. He just lacks the cones to see red. Uh, sees definitely more of the yellows and blues there. Hopefully this was helpful and you learned a little bit.